everybody, it's Kim. I'm super excited about this month's lesson because technically I need to learn it myself because I struggle on patience. That's the theme for this month. It's on patience, 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 patience. Oh dear, how much I wish I had patience. I definitely need to look, work on this. But do you know what patience technically means? It means waiting until later for what you want now. So like when I really want a cookie, but I have to wait until it's done baking. Or when I really would like to uh, go somewhere, but I can't because it's not open yet. You know, that's the kind of waiting we're talking about. Uh, or patience, yes, yes. The memory verse for this month is wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. That is Psalms 27, 14. That's a good verse. Waiting for the Lord. We gotta have patience and wait for the Lord to come on down. Yes. Yes, it's a good reminder, yes. Anyway, so, today's lesson, I'm gonna do something completely different. Granted, it might be delicious afterwards too. <laughs> Here we go. I have another great story to tell you guys, and it's in the Bible. We love the Bible, it has so many amazing stories, especially this one, it's about patience, but also about a guy who didn't have patience and he lost out on a lot, like I mean a lot, uh, is it okay that I bake up some cookies? I'm just gonna add my secret ingredient. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Anyway, I'm just gonna add that. As I know you were all aware, patience is super hard. I know sometimes I get super impatient, especially when I would love to have cookies ready right now. You know when you're riding in a car, and it, like as a kid, and you're trying to get somewhere and you're really excited and you're really impatient at the same time and like the one thing you keep asking your parents what is that are we there yet are we there yet are we there yet? yeah we all have done it every single one of us how much it. longer yeah exactly we all say it you know what i'm saying even i did and sometimes as an adult i still say it sorry chris sorry every day there are so many times when we have to wait at school or in virtual learning class. We have to wait till our teacher gets us into the classroom. And maybe you have to wait your turn to use the tablet. Sometimes we only have like one tablet to share between our siblings and we have to wait to use it. So that's hard too. So having patience. How about waiting in lines? Like at lunch or at a bus stop or at the store? Ooh, you know what? Something about me. Sometimes I get super impatient when I'm waiting at the store in line to check out. I mean, I know it's something I need to work on. Anyway, lines are everywhere. The hardest thing for me especially is the holidays, like Christmas or my birthday. Well, you know what? If we don't have patience, we could lose out. So, enjoy. I'm gonna get these cookies baked now, and then hopefully they'll be ready by the end of the story. In a galaxy. Far, far away. Yeah, no, that's not the story. Sorry, wrong one. No. A long, long time ago, God made a special promise to a man named Abraham. God told Abraham that he would be the father of a great nation. And Abraham had a son named Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Hello. Hi, Isaac. Isaac grew up and married a spatula, I mean, sorry, <laughs> sorry, a woman named Rebecca. Yes. It didn't seem like Isaac and Rebecca would have children. Oh, so Isaac prayed and prayed. Please, please, please. Like a lot of praying. Yes, yes. God answered Isaac's prayer and Rebecca's and Rebecca became pregnant with twin boys. Oh dear. Yes, twin boys back at that time. Oh Lord. Yes, oh dear is right. The two babies struggled inside of Rebecca. Yes, they did. And this is what God said to Rebecca about them. This is in Genesis 25, 23. He said, two nations are in your body 
Yes. Two tribes that are now inside you will be separated. Oops. One nation will be stronger than the other. The other, the older son, will serve the younger one. I guess these two brothers were destined to fight. So Yeah, they were. So, soon came the time for Rebecca to give birth to the twins. Oh, dear. Oh, poor Rebecca. Yes, you poor dear. Anyway, so Esau was born first. Oh, yes, and he had a full, uh, full head of red hair. Yes, he did. Yes, poor Rebecca. Oh, and then came Jacob. Yes, but he was still holding on to Esau's heel. Yes, so, uh, whoa, easy, boys. Easy, easy, knock it off. Right. All right, so those two boys couldn't have been more different. Yes, yes. Esau grew up to be a skillful hunter. Yes, he was very skillful. Mmm, me. Mmm, yes. And Jacob, on the other hand, was perfectly happy at home among the tents. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm good. Yes. Because their dad, Isaac, loved the flavor of wild meat, Esau became Isaac's favorite. Rebecca loved how Jacob would stay home with her, so he became her favorite. See where this is going? Yeah. So one day, while Jacob cooked a stew, mind you, a nice yummy stew, some meat, yummy. Sounds actually really yummy. Hmm. Anywho, Esau came barreling into camp from the open country, and he was hungry. Yes, he was starving, he was super hungry. I'm hungry! Give me some of that stew! He was starving. He was super hungry. Anyway, but Jacob was a crafty brother. He said, First, you gotta send me the rights to your oldest son, as the oldest son. Yeah. Back then, just so uh, you know, back then the oldest son was supposed to be the new leader of the family when the father passed away. So it was a big deal for Jacob to ask Esau to trade those rights away. And sure enough, Esau was like, Me? Hungry! I'm dying of hunger! What good are those rats to me? Yeah. And Jacob insisted. First promise to sell me your rights. And Esau promised to do it. Deal! In the end, Esau traded away his rights as the oldest son, all for a bowl of stew. What? No way! I don't think I would give away my rights for a bowl of stew, but you know what? This teaches us a great lesson about patience. You know, if he had just been patient and he just said, no, I'm not gonna give you my rights away for a bowl of stew, Esau would still be, have all his inheritance. And so, it's hard to imagine being so hungry that you'd give up something as important as a birthright. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to do that. But that's exactly what Esau did. He traded his rights of a lifetime for a meal that would fill his stomach for only a few hours. Moral of the story is, if you don't wait, it could cost you. It could cost you so much. That's why it's so important to be patient and to wait. That's what God is trying to say to us sometimes. When we get so impatient and we want things to happen right away, he's saying, wait, wait. And sometimes those will be answered to us. And patience is a good virtue. It really is. Do not trade your birthright for a bowl of stew, children. Please don't, okay? Or cookies or any kind of food, okay? Be patient, okay? You've got this, stay strong, all right? I'm gonna end this in prayer. And Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for you. We're grateful for these kids and this Rizu program, for everyone involved with Rizu. And we just wanna uh, give a prayer to these children. Uh, we're just so proud of them. They're doing so many hard things and they're learning so many things and they're staying deeply rooted in you. And we're so proud of them. We love them. We're so grateful for them. And we say this in your name, Jesus Christ, amen.
It's your favorite time. Quit time. Woo. All right, first question, everyone. Who is Isaac's father? <gasps> do, 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 Abraham. Yes, Abraham is his father. Good one. Question number two. All right, Rebecca had twins, but who was born first? Do 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 Esau was born first. Yes, he was. Yes. All right. Question number three. What did Jacob cook that Esau was so hungry for? Do 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 do. It was a stew. Yes, he made a yummy stew for Esau that he wanted. All right, last question, my dears. Number four. All right, Esau traded a bowl of stew for what? Ooh, here we go. Do, 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 do. His birthright. His birthright. What? Yes, he traded a bowl of stew for his birthright. Yes. All right, everybody. We love you. Love the Rezu team. Woo! Ooh, look at these. I was patient and my cookies are done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this thing on? Wait. Oh, oh it's on. Oh, whoops. Oh. Or say it! Come on, honey! Sorry. Oh, no, no, my bad! Is waiting for the holidays like Christmas. <laughs> Maddie's getting impatient over there, too. What you shush? of a lifetime for a meal. Hello? Oh, that's a cell phone. Sorry, sorry. Don't know who that is. Ugh. Right, where was I?